Hey guys, notice anything different? So I've made some changes to my lighting and my background and that's what I'm gonna show you today. All right, first of all, the lighting. Um, my lighting in the past was strictly natural light coming through the window and it was insufficient. And I know that and I'm trying to work on making it better. I feel like I have found the perfect balance now between natural and artificial lighting to create hopefully optimum lighting. And uh, so I have some artificial lights back there to light up that area because I know it used to be dark and what is the point of having a bookshelf with things on display if you can't see what's on the shelves? So the first thing I did was the shelf unit that used to be back there, I put it back in the living room. It used to hold half my DVD collection, so it's resuming its old job. It's back there in the living room. Yesterday I went to Target and I bought this. It was a kit that you have to put together yourself and it was hard labor, you guys. Um, screws nails. It took me hours and hours to make this thing, but I'm very happy with the end result and it was only $35. So if you need something like this, check out Target. It comes in three different finishes. I wanted the white because then it would match my IKEA Alex unit and the white Sterlite containers that I have the other half of my makeup collection in and the walls are white so everything is nice and light and bright and clean that dark wood on that other case that I had was just aggravating the situation as far as not being light enough so that is has made all the difference um, and for $35 why the heck not you know so at this point, I'm going to um, bring you in closer so I can show you exactly what is on each shelf in case you were wondering. And um, so let's, let's go over there and take a look at everything. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what exactly is in my new bookcase. So on the top shelf, I have three of the Barbie Color Reveal dolls from Series 2. No, Series 3. <laughs> there were three series of these, and this is the three dolls that I have from Series 3. Am I going to get the other two to complete the collection? I've been kind of going back and forth on that. I'm not really sure. If I happen to see them in store and I do see the two that I don't have, I might get them, but um, I have my little chart here. I have seven, eight, and nine, so yeah, I will have to see about that, but those are the three that I have from the Outdoor Series, otherwise known as Sunny and Cool. So I save the chart, I save the little caps because that tells me which doll is what number. Then on the second shelf, I have my pet brine shrimps. And you can see them swimming around in there. I have a separate video on this. I think I might even have two videos on this. And um, I have this little gnome sitting over here that I found at Dollar Tree one day. And then... These um, trolls I've had for a really long, really long time. And um, I've got this little frog in this little thing of, this is like a generic version of Play-Doh. I got those two things in this grab bag thing that I bought not too long ago that had candy in it and it had those little toys in it. But yeah, that's those are my brine shrimp. And I've got, um, this is the special salt that you need to make the salt water that they live in. And then I've got um, a little vial of brine shrimp eggs and a little vial of yeast. And this can be used as food for them. This is the measuring spoon to measure their food. These are a couple of aerators to aerate the water. 
In here, I've got algae, which is another thing that they eat. And then I've got a container of spirulina, which they can eat. I've got this thermometer back here so that I can closely monitor what the temperature is in this room because brine shrimp do not like cold temperatures. So it's fine now because it's summer, but I wanted to just put that thermometer there so that when fall rolls around, I can make sure that I keep it warm enough in here for them so that they don't die. Then I've got these plastic cups back here. I use those to help aerate the water. I pour out the water and the brine shrimp into one of these cups. And then when, when I've poured it um, far enough so that all the brine shrimp are in the cup, whatever is left in here, at the bottom, you get like old food, dead skin cells, um, just, you know, brine shrimp poop. Uh, it gets kind of gross down at the bottom there. So I just pour everything up to the point where the brine shrimp are all in the cup. And then I just dump this sludge down the drain. And that's one of the ways that I keep it clean because you can't use any kind of an aeration filtration Air, you can't use an aerator or a filtration system with brine shrimp because they're so tiny that they would just get sucked right into it. So there's little tricks and stuff that you can do to keep the water clean. Then on the third shelf, I have all my BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes that I've done videos on recently. This, I think, is going to be the shelf that is going to feature whatever I'm loving most at the moment in terms of makeup. Then on the fourth shelf, I have this um, Barbie Fashionista doll. This is the pop star one. And then I also have the two dolls that I've revealed so far from series two, which was the foodie collection. And then I have the other three waiting over there to be revealed. And then these are the things that I got in the pet pack collection. It has a slice of pizza, a cute little container, two little puppies, and then here's my sheet so far. I have five and six revealed, so I still need to do the rest of that series. And then on the bottom shelf, I have a uh, nail polish remover, nail polishes, top coats, base coats, and I've got this old makeup brush that I'm only using to uh, clean up the edges. You know how sometimes you go a little bit too far over and get polish on the skin? So I just dip this in nail in uh, nail polish remover and then clean up the edges and then just keep it in this glass. Now, all of these things are going to change over time because as I buy new things, I may want to switch out what is on display so I think eventually my nail polishes and nail polish removers are going to end up in this acrylic uh, tray eventually because I'm going to need this space for something else. Because now I'm not just doing videos on makeup and what I'm watching and reading. Now I'm doing dolls too. And I really have to say that I've been enjoying the doll videos probably even more than the makeup videos right now, but I don't think I'm ever going to go over to completely to a doll channel, but um, I, I just want to be able to display the beautiful dolls that, that I've been buying. So I've already um, gotten some other things even besides these color reveals because... Um, I did find something else that I thought was extremely beautiful that I'm going to be showing you when we finish with the color reveal dolls. So. Okay, so that is my little tour of my new bookcase. And like I was saying before, this is all going to change um, depending on what I buy or what I want to display. And um, we'll just see how it goes over time. But I hope you enjoyed this. 
Um, if you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.